I will demonstrate the multiple transports that can be used in YAMI. In all previous examples you have seen that I used TCP as the transport protocol. This is not the only one which is available in YAMI and I will demonstrate what are the possibilities. Let's come back to the calculator example. I will start a server program with the TCP transport protocol. Uh, local host address and my favorite port number. Okay, the server started and I will also start the client with the same target, with the same uh, connection parameters and two integers which will be sent to the server. It works. I can also start the server in a little bit different way where I request the operating system to assign a port number for my server. This is very useful uh, for those servers which are transient or temporary. I have to quote it, otherwise the star will confuse the shell. And as you can see, the port number was assigned by the operating system. If I start the server again, a possibly different port number will be automatically assigned. I can also start the server with the UDP transport protocol. And of course I have to modify the connection parameters for the client. And it works. The third possibility, which is available only on Unix-like platforms, is the Unix socket, uh, the local connection, uh, local connections transport. Uh, I have to provide the name of the file, the name of the local uh, socket. Let's call it mysoc. The mysoc file will be created in the, in the local directory and I can start the client in the same directory with the same connection parameters and some two integers and it works.